Hey guys, GS380 here again. So tonight I'm going to talk about jamming on an AR-15. And the specific type of jamming I'll be going over tonight is our failure to feed or failure to chamber. But um, I'm going to do a demonstration using a shell. So um, this will just show you exactly what happens to me at the range, just so you have an idea what it looks like. All right. I'm going to take this time to make the firearm clear, okay? So, what happened at the range is that um, my ball carrier group got stuck on my bullet. This time I'll just show you exactly what happened. So this is what it looks like when you're out in the range and you experience a failure to feed or a failure to chamber. A common cause of failure to chamber is that your bolt carrier group has not moved forward with enough force to complete the operation of feeding or chambering the ammunition to lock the bolt in place. This could be a result of magazine problems or it could be a case where um, your buffer spring is giving you some problems where you have a damaged buffer spring or you have a damaged magazine or it's possible where your bullets aren't seated properly into your magazine. If you're experiencing a magazine problem it's good to take out your magazine, change it. If it's your bullets aren't seated properly, just look at your magazine, reseat your bullets properly. However, if you're experiencing a buffer spring problem, you're gonna have to actually go home and replace that buffer spring. That's the only way to take care of a buffer spring if it's damaged. My cause wasn't a magazine or buffer spring problem. I was experiencing not getting enough gas to push my bolt carrier group far back enough so it could come back with enough force. That was a result of me changing my front side post gas block and using a low profile gas block. That low profile gas block was defective. I actually had to replace it by returning it and getting a new one and afterwards my AR-15 was back and working at its best. So um, remember guys, it's always important to work your way backwards to the last modification you've made to your firearm. Again guys, I'm GS380. Please remember to like and subscribe if you like our videos. Hit that bell icon so whenever we release new videos, you're the first to know. 